Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, it is I, Greg Gomes III, founder, CEO, FastStartMarketer.com, and we are going over this morning something very critical for you, the three keys to financial freedom. Yes, my friend, this is going to be something that definitely outlines for you exactly what I'm doing right now that uses three tiered processes and what I've used to train folks over the last, uh, since 2003, I don't even know how many years that is now. Uh, over a decade, well over a decade, and helping people find financial freedom and exactly what that takes to actually build out a business that adds dozens of people a week into your team. Now, it's not a miracle program. It's actually a very simple process once it's systemized and you're doing it correctly. So let me lay out the three key elements you're going to need in order to get that done. First and foremost, you're going to need to get traffic and leads. This is one of those points that you actually will uh, definitely need to make sure that you're focusing and addressing on in your business because traffic and leads is critical for you to be able to go through and talk to people. One of the biggest concerns I have in talking with folks or when, fo when I talk to home business owners is the big concern is that they don't have enough quality people to talk to. They're talking to people who are pretty much Oh, tire kickers are not necessarily folks who are 100% interested in what it is you have to offer. I'm going to share with you how it is. I only talk to folks already interested in my offers before we pick up the phone to talk to them. Then we go into conversion. What is conversion? Conversion is very simply what you do to get a person excited, interested, and engaged in actually taking action on your offer. Now, there's several stages of conversions. I will talk about that in tomorrow's video and you'll be able to see what conversions you need to take a prospect through. The big mistake most home business owners make is that they think that uh, you know you talk to somebody and they should buy. That's not true. There's several conversion steps a prospect must go through before they'll be ready to want to take action on your opportunity, product, your service. To neglect even one of these steps is literally to say, hey, I don't want your business. And we know that's not true. That's why you're in business. You want more customers, consumers, and of course, business builders. So I'm going to share with you how to do that in tomorrow's video. And the final video will be all about systemization. I don't know if that's really a word. I really don't care. It's because it's a process I use in my business. In fact, I'm in the office right now on a Saturday as of this recording. And uh, I know you're probably watching this Sunday. And I'm coming in on Saturday because I'm systemizing with one of my team leads how to streamline their process, make it easier, take the manual systems we're already doing in the conversion process and to make them better, more fluid, and to ultimately add more uh, opportunity and revenue from our efforts through doing this with less human effort. So, okay, before we can go into any of that, we've got to answer the really most important question for you here is, what's possible? What's possible for you? What's possible for your business? What can you do? What could you expect? What could you see in a potential future? Well, let me just, you know, not guess at that. Let me actually show you step by step exactly what I've got. Now, this is today's production. These are leads that I'm getting on a daily basis in our system. Obviously, we use a process by the name of Entreport. This is a big boy, big girls marketing system. You don't need this, but we have so many leads and so many people coming in on a daily basis that um, you know, as of this recording right now, you're looking at, uh, here's one, there's 50 per sheet. If you look down here, you're gonna see that there's 50 contacts per page. And if you look down here, we have, uh, this one's from yesterday and the rest are from this morning and today, okay? So we have 49 leads already in today from one of our marketing processes, one of our lead generation processes. Now, even more important than that is that if you look over to our PayPal page, I, what I do is I have people get the opportunity to be able to purchase and invest in things prior to me prospecting them. So what I do is I have them, I, through years of effort and energy and, and figuring out what my market is looking for in specific niches, I figure out what they're looking for and I sell them a small little bit of information. They literally pay money to get prospected by me and my team into our businesses. Does that make sense? So you can see here that these are several transactions just between yesterday and today. Uh, of what's already been processed and you know going on the last few days these are all transactions on a daily basis so I don't even do anything it's really neat to see like these types of transactions that come in from our little ten dollar offers that are ding 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 every single time we do them they're very powerful now I want you to imagine what your business could look like what your business would look like on a daily basis if you had this many leads to be able to reach out to and that many folks that are actually reaching out to you and paying you in advance before you even pick up the phone to talk to them. This is a real business. This is a real business model. 
Now, what I need you to understand is this isn't just for network marketing. This is something that you can put into any type of business. I have lots of clients who come in for the network marketing training and then realize, wait a minute, I could use this in my brick and mortar business, in my service business, in my bakery, in, my, in, in any kind of business. They have a dog grooming, but yep, if you've got a, any kind of business, I don't teach networking strategies. That's easy. Networking is easy. Building a business and converting people, converting cold tr people into interested prospects and then turning prospects, interested prospects into paying customers and then turning paying customers into lifetime ravenous fans for your offer and promoters for your business. There's a process. There's, there's a formula to that. There's a system to that. That's what I'm going to show you right now in this video. So let's get back to it. So I just wanted to take a second and let you know what is possible in your business. Or, or just one of these funnels, one of the things that we're doing right now, the part of the process you're looking at there, produces over $100,000 a month in revenue for our company. Okay, It's just one system. Okay, What would your business, what would your life, what would everything look like if you had a system like that working for you? All right. Now that we understand what's possible, how do we do this? What does that entail? So here's, here's what you're going to need. You need fresh leads daily. That's not an option. That's mandatory. You got to have them daily. <clears throat> you understand that? You need people already interested. Okay? They need to be already interested in what it is you have to offer before you pick up the phone to talk to them. This process, this system, practically eliminates convincing. Okay, We don't want to do that. We don't want to have to pull teeth and beg people to be in part of our business. We want them to, to practically apply. We want them to fight for a spot on our team. Right? That's what this process does for you. And what this ultimately creates for you is a predictable business predictability. You see, one of the advantages we have as employees in the world is that we can count on a steady paycheck, right? Every week that money comes in. In business, you don't have that predictability. Well, not until you systemize and you do a lot of the things we're going to talk about here. And it starts with this process. So let's go ahead and dig into what you're actually going to need to build this out. Okay, so what are you going to need to do? First and foremost, one of the biggest things you're going to need to do in your business is you're going to need to do some market research. All right, I'm going to describe what market research is. Very simply, the plainest way I can explain this to you is I just did a live webcast video the other day on Facebook where I was talking about three questions to be able to ask. I'm going to cover those things in a webinar this Thursday. So you want to register at faststartmarketer.com forward slash live. Uh, actually, let's type it correctly. It's not capital. It's all lowercase. Uh, faststartmarketer.com com forward slash live. You want to be there live, register now. Uh, there's a link here on the page or just register below faststartmarketer.com forward slash live or just click the link below if you're watching this page, this video on my page. And what we're going to do on the video is we're going to go through this first phase of doing the market research. We're going to walk through all phases of how to go get traffic and leads, everything. First thing for market research though is you need to figure out who your buyer is. You want to create what we call an avatar. All right. Now, there's a lot of people that pay lip service to this. There's a lot of talk about it. You can go Google search videos on avatars and how to create them. There's a million different ways to do that. The, the way I create avatars and the reason my avatars are so effective in the way I build my businesses is I actually go look at behavior. I don't necessarily look at ideals of what I want in an avatar, like what I believe they should be. I go look at the reality of the world and figure out who's doing what and why. And those are the folks that I want part. Uh, and, and I follow the trends of what they're actually doing and what they're buying, what they're investing to. I, I go with their flow versus trying to convince people to follow me. Do you understand that? It's like me trying to convince a vegetarian that they should eat steak. That's stupid. That's dumb. That's hard to do. Maybe they will eventually become meat eaters. That's not my job to convince them. My job is to go in and say, if you're a vegetarian, Here's how you get vegetables and stuff that tastes just like steak. If that's the case, why not eat steak? But whatever. <laughs> All right. So that's specifically, you got to do your market research. And the key thing here is you're looking for what your market wants. That's critical. It's not about what you want to sell. 
It's about what they want to buy. And when you can identify that, selling becomes easy. In your case, you're no longer trying to convince. You're literally building a bridge with your product or service between where they are and where they want to be. People are always excited to want to buy when it's something that they want. It's not rocket science. We're armed in our space. We think just because our product is great and your product is great, your service is awesome, but that doesn't mean everybody wants it. Go find the people who want it. That's where market research comes in. It's much, much easier. Okay, so once you've done a little market research, now what we need, second step is very simple online. You can do this anywhere. It doesn't have to be online. I use that word online right now just simply because it's one of the easiest places to do it. And you want to create a funnel. Okay, now what's a funnel? A funnel is a specific set of marketing steps that a prospect needs to take in order to be educated on, on your offer and to build their desire and their interest. So they start, you know, very simply. Uh, what's funny is I was going to be a comic book artist. Can you tell how good <laughs> you see why I'm a marketer, right? So cold prospects, they go in here, they go in the top. Right? They see a headline. They see an offer. Actually, that's not how you spell headline, is it? They see an offer. They see something that gets their attention. Right, You get their attention here. And then they come down and they start to build interest. And then eventually they start to build the desire. And then they actually have passion for what it is you're offering. Okay, and then out of this comes a very good lead. These people are suspects, as you've heard the term. And these people are actual prospects, potential people who want to buy. Leads, real good quality prospects. The, the challenge is, too often people think, okay, well, you know, I'm talking to somebody cold, they should immediately jump down here. Not at all. They have to go through this entire series of sequences of steps before they're actually going to be qualified. Now, some will go faster than others. Others will take their time and go from here to there and need to read all the data before they actually get here. Okay? Your systems, your online funnel needs to do that in the shortest path possible. And you're going to find that there's one, two, three, four, maybe five or six steps that they need to go through that you can do that will make that person excited to want to do business with you. So how do I do this? This looks complicated, Greg. This looks very complicated. It's actually very simple. The only things you need to have are an ad with a simple hook, okay, that drives them to some way of collecting their data. So data capture. And what I mean by data, I want their name, I want their email, and most importantly, I want their phone number. Yes. Let me tell you something straight up. If someone's selling you a system that says you don't need to call your prospects, they're lying to you. They're straight up lying to you. You need to call your prospects. Why? Because you have to. That's not an option. But Greg, you just showed me a system that gets leads and sales up front. Yep. And if that's all that I stopped at, I would leave 80% of my revenue on the table. I would be scraping by month by month. Do you understand? The winners, the real big time earners, the long term successful people, get on the phone for two very specific reasons, okay? We're trying to figure out, and this leads to step number three, so we've got step number one is do market research, step number two is a simple funnel that collects data, and then step number three is pick up the phone, give them a quick call. You know why? This, 80% of the people in the world right now that are in your space are not willing to do that. You literally have a competitive advantage over every other company. How many products have you bought at the store that they actually will call you to make sure you're satisfied with it, to help you actually get better use of it. None. Why? Because it's too time intensive. That's your big advantage right now. You have the ability to contact these folks for several reasons. The first of which is you get to push the sale. Okay? You get to push engagement. You actually start to increase revenue. You actually get to collect some decisions. I know it's small, but you can't see it, but it's collect decisions. And third, you actually get to figure out a better marketing process. Okay? You get to figure out better marketing. I can collect this feedback from a phone conversation here. Okay? I can collect this feedback right here, and then I can go back and adjust my ad. Whoop. 
<laughs> I can go back here and adjust my ad, which will give me even a better, use a better hook with that. It'll give me higher data conversion, so I'll get more leads. That'll position people even better for my phone calls, which will allow me to do this bad boy right here. It'll allow me to, let's get a good color, collect the money more and more. So it's this reciprocal process that allows you to do this. You understand that? It's very simple. It's not complicated. What do you need to do? Ask a few questions, figure out what the market wants. Put together a simple offer, an ad, and it doesn't have to be a paid ad. It can be a Facebook post. It can be, you know, private chat. It can be in groups. There's a ton of different ways. On the webinar, I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. But the bottom line is we want to capture their data so that we can give them a quick phone call. We want to do what 80% of the world's not doing. And then we're going to go push the engagement, collect some decisions, figure out what the market wants, rent, wash, rinse, repeat. This is a secular process that allows us to get great quality conversion the more we do it. And it's very simple. I know you got apprehensions. I know you've got fears. I know you got concerns. But literally, it's like you're walking by a drowning person and they're begging you for the life preserver that you have already around your waist that you're not using. That's how simple this process is once you learn to do it correctly. So how do you learn to do it correctly? It's very simple. Go to faststartmarketer.com forward slash live, faststartmarketer.com forward slash live, or click the, fill out the information below and get registered for the webinar. I'm going to go through the entire process for you. This is exactly what I share with my 5K coaching students. And uh, this is what I show them. Let me do that correctly. It's not capital. It's all lowercase, live. And uh, you'll be able to go through, get registered for the webinar, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Now, in tomorrow's video, I'm going to lay out for you, what do we do in this conversion process? How do we get this to do exactly what you're talking about, Greg? You're saying that this is something that we're able to uh, improve our conversions on and get better with it. How, how do we do that? Well, I'm going to share with you exactly how to do that in tomorrow's video. But stay tuned. In the meantime, register for the webinar. Seating is limited. And I hope to see you on the live webinar. And I also hope to see you at the Fast Start Summit this year faststartsummit.com uh, and we'll show you how to basically get all that stuff taken care of as well. Hope you're awesome. Enjoy. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, share, comment, plus one, all that good stuff and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.